This is not your ordinary guitar. It's modular, 3D printed, and ready for you to customize. In this video, I'll walk you step by step through the process to build your own Stratocaster style 3D printed guitar body. It's part of our brand new modular guitar series. Choose a single coil or dual humbucker center core and then mix and match from a growing lineup of over 60 modular body options. In just a matter of seconds, you can switch from a Telecaster style guitar to a Les Paul, Warlock, Stratocaster, Mustang, SG, Flying V, or Explorer. Each body style offers an expanding library of unique patterns and lets you showcase your creativity by customizing the colors and materials of each component and surface to build a truly one-of-a-kind showstopper guitar. I'll leave links to the body assembly videos in the description below. Our complete core and body kits come with everything you need to build your guitar. You'll receive an instant download of the 3D printing files, plus a physical kit shipped directly to your door with all the required materials, components, and electronics. Please note that the resin and resin coloring is not included, but I'll include links to recommended materials in the video description below. The guitar body we're building in this video is called the Stratocaster River, named after its river table inspired resin top. The kit includes a pre-wired electronics control panel, output jack, latch, strap posts, dowels, super glue, and all the necessary hardware. Alternatively, if you want to source your own components, or if you have a donor guitar lying around, every design is also available as a files only option. We've streamlined the 3D printing process by including 3MF files with preloaded recommended print settings so you can simply slice the models and hit print. Or if you prefer to fine tune your setup, we've also included STL files giving you full control to customize the print settings to meet your needs. And just a quick note, in addition to this video, you'll find a digital assembly guide and a frequently asked questions page on our website, the3dprintzone.com. I'll link both in the description below. And be sure to stick around for the end of the video where we have a quick demo playing the guitar so you can see how it sounds. Now let's dive into the build starting with the 3D printed parts. The guitar body is split into four sections designed to fit on a print bed that's 256 by 256 millimeters or larger. This makes it possible to print the body on a growing number of 3D printers available today. Along with the main body, you'll also get files to 3D print the output jack and the electronics contact adapter. There's also an optional but highly recommended alignment jig that helps make sure the body sections are perfectly straight and parallel. The body in this video was printed in Bamboo Lab PLA Basic, but you can use other materials if you want extra strength or improved thermal properties. Keep in mind that standard PLA has a heat deflection temperature slightly under 60 degrees C, and therefore it's not recommended to leave your 3D printed guitar in a hot environment, such as the trunk of a car on a hot day, as it may compromise the material and cause warping. You should also aim to keep your guitar in a relatively dry environment with low humidity for the same reasons, and you can consider using higher temp and UV resistant materials such as ASA. The guitar body doesn't take a significant load as all the string tension is isolated to the modular center core. Therefore, body parts print by default with 20% infill, 4 perimeters, and 0.2 millimeter layer height. One unique option with a 3D printed guitar is that you can modify the weight of the body by adjusting the infill density. So if you're looking for a heavier body, for example, you can simply increase the infill percentage setting to add weight. In terms of support material, it's recommended to print with tree supports as these tend to break away easiest during support removal. For this guitar, I chose simple white PLA basic for the main body to allow the resin color to really pop. You can expect to use around 1.2 kilograms of filament and have a total print time just under 24 hours, depending on your print settings and color scheme. 
The guitar body is designed to go together using wooden dowel pins to align the parts during assembly and super glue to bond the plastic. Start by applying a little super glue to the dowel holes and then insert the dowels making sure they're pressed all the way in. Next, apply super glue to the mating surfaces and the exposed ends of the dowels and firmly press the parts together. It's important to apply steady pressure while the glue sets and if you want some extra help, you can use wood clamps during this step. After applying glue, double check that the dovetail tracks are clean and free of any CA glue that may have seeped out. It's recommended to use the 3D printed alignment jig to make sure that everything sets perfectly straight and parallel so that the center core can slide smoothly. Even though the super glue bonds in just a few minutes, I recommend letting it cure for a full 24 hours to get the strongest possible joint. Every guitar body style includes a river variant specifically designed for a resin pour, although this step is optional and if you prefer the look without resin, you can leave this recess empty. To start, seal the seams between the body sections using super glue. This helps prevent any resin from seeping during the pour. Be sure to give the glue enough time to fully cure before moving on to the next step. Once the glue is fully cured, place the guitar body on a level surface. I recommend using a level and a few sticky notes or shims if needed to make sure that it's perfectly flat in all directions. For the resin, I use JB Weld Ultra Res as it cures crystal clear and is rock solid once it sets. Like most resins, it's a two-part mix with an A and B component. You can refer to the table provided for the exact amount of resin you'll need based on the body style you've chosen. To add color to the resin, I'm using mica powder. This kit includes 24 different colors which you can blend to create a custom look. Start by adding mica powder to the part A resin and mixing thoroughly. A small scoop here goes a long way. Once you're happy with the color, combine it with the Part B resin and mix the two parts until fully blended. In this next step, the guitar body really starts to come to life. Carefully pour the resin into the recessed area, filling it slowly and evenly. If you'd like to add some visual flair, you can use a pointed stick to gently swirl the resin and create a unique pattern. Work slowly to avoid introducing bubbles, and keep in mind you may need to revisit the resin a few times as it begins to cure to maintain the swirl effect. Finally, allow a full 24 hours for the resin to fully cure. Now it's time to assemble the rest of the non-3D printed components. All you'll need is a standard Phillips screwdriver, or if you want to make your life even easier, one of these sweet handheld power screwdrivers. Flip the body over and insert two square nuts into the slots. Then fasten the two strap posts to the body using two M4 by 20 screws. Now you can flip the body back over and route the control panel wires, starting with the output jack and then the five contact wires. Next, mount the output jack to its cover plate by inserting it into the hole, adding the washer, and securing it with the hex nut. Once that's done, you can attach the complete output jack subassembly to the body using the four 3 8 inch number two screws. Then secure the control panel to the body using two 3 8 inch number four screws. We can now mount the latch hook to the contacts adapter using two 7 16 inch number eight screws, making sure the hook is positioned in the orientation shown. With the body flipped, we can now mount the wire contacts to the adapter subassembly using the wiring diagram shown. Make sure to pay attention to the orientation of the mounting holes to ensure the wires are connected in the correct positions. Once the wires are attached to the contact adapter, the subassembly can be mounted to the body using four 3 quarter inch number 6 screws. Just be careful not to pinch any wires while tightening them. And just like that, your modular guitar body is fully assembled and ready for action. All you'll need to do is slide on a core, lock the latch, and you're ready to rock out. If you have any questions about our guitars, be sure to check out the FAQ page on our website or leave a comment below. You can also reach out to us directly using the contact form on our website. 
We're here to build more than just guitars. We're creating a community of musicians, makers, and innovators who are excited about the possibilities of 3D printed instruments. For more information, visit the3dprintzone.com and check out the links in the description below. We've got several new designs already in the works, so if you have an idea or suggestions for future releases, feel free to drop a comment below and vote for your favorite suggestion by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for updates, follow us on our socials, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. And finally, as promised, here's a quick demo from Jim, a talented musician with the Whitney Doucette Band, a local country group. They put on some fantastic shows in southern New Hampshire and greater Boston, so if you're in the area, you should definitely check them out. Let's reshape the future of guitar design together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.